3a grammar present perfect progressive versus present perfect simple before we continue the information you find in this video 2a grammar is important because in that video we covered the past simple that's me teaching at school I taught a hundred students last year. I've been teaching English since 1424. Again, I've been teaching English since 1424. I've taught thousands of students so far. Until now, I've taught thousands of students. The first example is what we call past simple. Past simple is something happened and finished in a specific time in the past. This happened last year. It finished. That's it. This right here is what we call present perfect progressive. And this is present perfect simple. To form a sentence in the present perfect progressive, you need a subject or a subject pronoun. If you were using he, she, or it, you use has. If you were using I, you, we, or they, like here, you use have. You say, I have been teach plus ing. I have been, not been, no, been, teaching. Or you can make it shorter by saying I've, I've been teaching. He has or he's, he's been teaching English since 1424. Now, in green, I put the time expressions. You can use for, since, how long, all day, all week, all year, all my life, with present perfect progressive. With present perfect simple, you can use just, always, before, never, ever, yet. Yet can give the meaning of already or until right now. We only use it with negative sentences, like when I say, I haven't eaten my food yet. Or in yes-no questions, like when I ask, have you eaten your food yet? I don't use it with positive sentences. I have eaten my food yet? No. I have eaten my food already. Okay? You can also use once means one time, twice, two times, thrice, many times. With past simple, we use last night, last year, last weekend yesterday two days ago five days ago two years ago now what is important here is when do we use this when do we use this when do we use this that is the important part right pay attention in this sentence i've been teaching english since 1424 what is important is the year i started the duration Duration means the amount of years, the amount of time. When I say I've taught thousands of students so far, or I've taught thousands of students since 1424, what is important is not the duration. What is important is the results. Because I've been teaching English, the result is I've taught thousands of students. Okay, every time you focus, the important part is the duration. Use this, ben, verb, plus ing. If the result is important, you use present perfect simple. You use the past participle form of the verb. If you turn to page 85, at the bottom of this table, you will find the verb teach, taught, Taught. This is what we use with present perfect simple, the past participle. I have taught thousands of students. Now look at this example. 
This old man says, I've taught students for 30 years. Now I'm retired. Now interesting. Now we have a duration. Why are we using present perfect simple? The reason is the man is retired. He no longer teaches students. He's stopped. If he's still teaching, then he should have said, I've been teaching English or I've been teaching students, okay? Because he stopped, he's retired, we use present perfect simple. Now look at this another example. I've loved you all my life. Interesting. We have all my life. We use all my life with present perfect progressive. Why are we using present perfect simple? The reason is love is a state of verbs. Do you remember state of verbs? If you don't, please watch this video, 1A Grammar, for a list of state of verbs. Love, like, see, hear, all these are state of verbs. You don't add ing to state of verbs. So, to sum things up, we use past simple, past simple, for something that happened in the past in a specific time. Specific time, yesterday, last week. We use present perfect progressive if something started happening in the past, the duration is important. Maybe this thing continued happening until today. Like me, teaching students, I've been teaching. It started in the past, it continued happening until today. Or maybe this thing stopped a moment ago, not long time ago. Like if I tell you, stop studying, there is no English test tomorrow. And you say, what? I've been studying all day. I've been studying all day. Now you stopped, but you stopped a moment ago. You use present perfect simple. If something happened in the past and the time is not mentioned, like when I say, I have visited America many times in the past. The time is not mentioned, or the results are obvious now. Like when I say, oh, I have broken the window. When you look at the window, it's not fixed. No, it is broken. So the results are obvious now. Okay? Now, let's move on to has been and has gone. What is the difference between the two? This man is Khalid. Khalid has been to America. Adil has gone to America. Look at Khalid. He is wearing the Saudi uniform. That shows you that now he is in Saudi Arabia. He is back. Adil is wearing a suit. That means he is still in America. He hasn't returned yet. Do you see the difference? I have been to America means, okay, in the past I went to America and now I'm home. I've gone to America. That means I am in America. I am not in Saudi Arabia. Okay? Now it is time for practice. Read the text below and complete the blanks with the present perfect simple, the present perfect progressive, or the past simple of the verbs in brackets. Every book and cranny. I always want to do something interesting in my free time. We have the time expression always. We use always with present perfect simple. So the answer is, I've always wanted. You go to page 85, you will not find the verb want because it is a regular verb, not irregular. And there is another thing. Want is a stative verb. You don't use stative verbs with present perfect progressive. So you can't say, I have been wanting. Okay? But... I work quiet long hours, very long hours, and I'm often very tired, exhausted. 
when I get home from work. Some time ago, a friend of mine, one of my friends, gave me the idea. Okay, my friend gave me the idea. My friend has given me. Or my friend has been giving me the idea. What do you think is correct? Look here, we have some time ago, two days ago, one year ago. We use this only with past simple. So this has to be gave, look here. Give, gave, given. The idea of joining, of becoming a part of every book and cranny. What is every book and cranny? It is a name of a book club which meets just once a week. I be a member. Be is a state of verb. For the past six months, we have four. For and since, we don't use these with past simple. We have a state of verb. We must use present perfect simple. I've been, you look here. The verb be was or were and then been. I've been a member, a part of this club for the past six months. And I enjoy every moment of it. We can use either I've enjoyed every moment or I've been enjoying. Why? Because it started in the past and it continues into the present. I am still a member and I'm still enjoying. You can use this or this. Both are correct. The people in the club are very friendly and the atmosphere, the overall feeling is fun and relaxed. For the past few weeks, we read. What do you think? For the past few weeks, it started in the past few weeks and we are still doing it. We are still reading. The important part here is the duration. For the past few weeks, past few weeks, the duration is what is important here. We use present perfect progressive. We've been reading books by a famous writer so that we can exchange, we can give and take our thoughts, what we think. At the end of the month, I am really looking forward to it. I'm really excited about it. One of the members study literature at university for the last two years. We have four. We can't use past simple and he is still doing it. He's still studying. So he has been studying. He's been studying literature. Literature like poetry, plays by Shakespeare at university for the last two years. So he lead our conversations. He is the one who starts and directs conversations. He's been leading. He's, he has been. He's been leading our conversations. Present perfect progressive because it started in the past and until now this guy is still leading. Yesterday I go to a bookshop. This happened yesterday. Past simple. I went to a bookshop and bought a dozen, dozen means 12, books for our next project, which is about poetry. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.